So let's get started. For this, we're gonna be um, making a sauce. And um, then I let me go ahead and um, show you what our ingredients are. We're gonna be using really, really good ahi tuna. Um, this ahi tuna is extremely fresh. And the way you want to pick your tuna and the way you know that the tuna is really good is it's not gonna be slimy. It's gonna be really fresh and red and um, it's not gonna have a smell to it either. So you wanna have really, really fresh tuna. To marinate the tuna, ahi tuna, we're just gonna do um, fresh ginger and garlic, salt, pepper, and lemon pepper. And you don't have to marinate this ahead of time. We're just gonna marinate it just before we start doing all the other stuff. For the vegetables, I've picked my two favorite crispy vegetables, which is gonna be pea pods, and we're gonna have um, matchstick carrots. And I have about a cup and a half of matchstick carrots and I have about two cups of pea pods. And you can throw in whatever other vegetables that you like. Now, for the sauce here, I have four tablespoons of soy sauce, two, one tablespoon of black vinegar, one tablespoon of tamarind concentrate. I've got five tablespoon of this sweet chili sauce. And then here I have half a teaspoon of the habanero chutney. Now I have a video on how I make the habanero chutney, but if you wanna go ahead and watch that, that's perfectly fine. You can use this, or you could use any of the hot peppers that you like. You can use um, scotch band peppers, you can use um, Solano, Serrano peppers, you can use anything that you like. You can even use Anaheim peppers, but I like the smell of the habanero peppers, so I'll put that. We're gonna need to be using olive oil, and for garnishing, we're gonna use black and white sesame seeds. And we're gonna also um, splash it with some lime juice in the end. So let's get started. First thing what we wanna do is Let's get our tuna fish ready here. So, I always like my ginger and garlic when I use any of the meat products, whether it being fish or um, chicken or meat. And so, I'm just gonna do this. Go ahead and add some salt on it. Some lemon pepper on it. And like I said, if areas where you don't get lemon pepper, you could just put some lemon uh, lemon juice or lemon zest and some more black pepper okay now we're just gonna turn this around like so go ahead and add a bit more on both sides do the same thing on both sides and if you feel like this is just too much um, ginger and garlic for you, go ahead and tone it down. Um, I just really, really like the smell of it in my uh, meats. So I generously always put a good amount of um, ginger and garlic. Okay, now, so that's done. I'm gonna keep that on the side. Go ahead, turn the stove on. I'm gonna go ahead and put just about a tablespoon of soy um, Keep on saying soy sauce. A table of a tablespoon of olive oil. We're just gonna let that heat up just a little bit. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and mix our sauces together. So, in goes our soy sauce, black vinegar, tamarind. habanero peppers and the sweet chili sauce now always remember to do a taste test because you want the sauce to be as taste tasty as ever and this sauce should be up to your tasting so if you try this and you think no um, Now, I'm gonna adjust this. This is why it's so important 
to give it a taste test. And I, I like my um, sauces a little bit on the sweeter side. If you don't like the sweets part of it, go ahead and not add it. So go ahead and I added, I added about three tablespoons of it in there and I kind of want to have that sweet taste to it. So. Much better. Sauce is ready. Okay. And it's come, I think it's coming up to temperature. And you can see that the, the pan that I'm using is like, it's got these grill marks on it. And that's kind of want what my um, tuna fish to have. I'm just gonna, and that's, you want to have that sizzle when you put it on. And I don't want to waste any of my good ginger and garlic. I'm just going to top it on top. And there's nothing like fresh. Absolutely nothing. You could use the powders, but I, I really, really recommend that you use the um, fresh. Now, I know that there's some people that love to have the ahi tuna where it is rare. So basically it's rare in the middle. And unfortunately the way we've been brought up is we don't eat anything that's rare. So um, we're so used to eating everything that is completely, completely cooked. So if you like to have this rare, what you want to do is if I can have the camera person get in really close and you see how you see the bottom side of it already getting cooked? You want to go ahead and turn it at that point. And then you're going to have both sides cooked and you're going to have the middle side completely rare. I'm going to go ahead and turn it, but I'm also going to cook it a little bit longer. But look at how beautiful that tuna fish looks. All right, so now what I have accomplished here is the grill marks. You go ahead and I'm gonna lower the volume, um, lower the volume, <laughs> lower the heat down and I'm gonna have the tuna fish cook through. To all those people out there, I have a bird that I have, um, I have adopted and she's a, a macaque parrot and she's still new to our house. I've covered her up so she doesn't make any noise, but I guess she still wants to be in the video. So I really, really apologize if you find it annoying in the background. But, um, so like now, if you, if you come over on this side and if you see, if you want your tuna fish to be rare, this is the time you wanna take it out because it's still pink in the middle. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more until the whole fish is cooked through. And what you could also do is you could get like a cover, go ahead and cover it, and this will kind of cook in its own steam and really still keep the tuna fish really, really moist in, in the middle too. So when we come back, the tuna fish will be done and then we're gonna go start our vegetables and then for our sauce four minutes on medium and you can see here that there's a lot of steam in there and it has really cooked really well in the steam by itself so what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently take them out look at how beautiful on the bottom grill marks on the bottom Okay, so we're gonna keep that on the side right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat just a little bit. I tell you, I love ahi tuna. Mm, so good. When we had gone to Hawaii, there was a Ruby Tuesday over there. And in Hawaii, you get this ahi tuna and they made it into like a sandwich, like a bun. 
and I and for as long as we were there, which was like seven days, I made sure whether it was for lunch or dinner, I would have my sandwich every day. It was, I mean, I, that's how much I love the ahi tuna. It's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead, increase my heat, and you guys can guesstimate. I've got some olive oil in here still left over, so I'm not going to add more. If you have all yours used up, go ahead and just add a little bit more in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my pea pods in there. Go ahead and just season that just a little bit with the lemon pepper and the black pepper. And I'm telling you, foods like these, when you know that they're fresh, they're satisfying, they're filling, and there's no fat or carbs in it, it just makes you feel like you're eating so clean and it's wonderful, wonderful to eat this way. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of salt, just a little bit, just a little sprinkle. Now I don't wanna cook these too much because I want them really, really crispy. So that's about it. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna put this on the side here. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to garnish this. Okay, next we're going to put just a little bit of olive oil. Go ahead and add my carrots in here. And again, we're not just going to saute this really quickly or stir fry this really, really quickly because I really don't want to cook it. I just want to give it that. It's going to pick up all that tuna fish seasoning. So basically, let's start assembling our stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead, clear all this stuff out. All right. Okay. So I've got this really nice big platter. And I've noticed also, and I've read quite a bit about it, that when you eat on big plates, it just makes the mind think that it's eating a whole lot more food. So, I usually eat in pretty big plates. So what I wanna do here, is I'm gonna go ahead and add this beautiful piece of tuna fish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my sauce. I'm just gonna drizzle some sauce on here. And this can be as much or as little as you like. So, um, if you like a lot of sauce, go ahead and add a lot of sauce. And this also is a great, great dipping sauce. All right, now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and just throw on some of my pea pods. Like so. And that's it. And this would be really, really good with, with, with any type of great salad. What you could also do is go ahead, add just a little bit more sauce on top of your vegetables so the taste is continuing from the beginning. And, and so this, you know, and you could also go ahead and add more vegetables to it so it can actually become um, uh, a salad and a fish in its own. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some um, lemon juice, lime juice on it. And I'm telling you, look at this. You don't have to go to any gourmet restaurant to eat this. It looks beautiful, it tastes amazing, it's satisfying, and best of all, it's no carb. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my um, second episode of the no carb meal. But I'm also gonna go ahead and do a taste test. I'm just gonna take a little piece of the tuna, dip it in the sauce, and grab my pea pods that I love. Mm. 
No. Mm, mm, mm. So good. So good. And I thought that I won't be able to replicate Ruby Tuesday. But, I mean, yeah, Ruby Tuesday. But I'm telling you, it's it's really, really good. You guys have to give it a try. If you can get some really, really fresh pieces of tuna, I'm telling you, you guys are going to love this. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great episode. See you then, friends. I'm going to go ahead and quickly garnish this with some black sesame seeds. And some white sesame seeds. And look at how, you know, it just brings out the colors. It just looks so, so beautiful.